Hi everyone, I'm Ari from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm going to tell you about a story about love, and trust, and music, and everything. This story I'll be talking about today is The Soloist by Steve Lopez. Steve Lopez is a, um, he works for the Los Angeles Times, he's a columnist, and in 2009 he wrote this story about how he found a schizophrenic, uh, cellist who used to go to Juilliard back in the day um, and this story is about the bonding that both Lopez and the cellist whose name is Nathaniel Ayers the bond that they formed together during the story so Ayers originally went to Juilliard but something happened and he developed uh, schizophrenia and he became homeless and he's been playing a one or two string cello for the longest time and Lopez finds him and Lopez buys him better instruments and tries to get him to uh, work and perform at different venues and the story is basically how both sides learn about the other and learn about just general um, life between people who are disabled and people who work so what happens is that this was also made into a movie in 2010 I think or maybe 2009 um, it starred Robert Downey Jr. as Steve Lopez and Jamie Foxx in what I think was probably one of his best roles I've ever seen him in as Nathaniel Ayers this uh, book is quite interesting it has a lot of messages that people can learn from. It, in the case of Lopez, he learns about how the power of music can change people and it changes him for sure. And for Ayers, it, it, it lets him get back into um, the, the light that he was in before, um, before everything fell apart. And, and there's also conflict between the two characters, which is really nice. Um, and just generally, it's a very, very good story. Um, I would say if I were to give it a rating out of four stars, I'd give it a 3.75. The Soloist is easily one of my favorite non-fiction books. I think my favorite part of the book, uh, even though it's not really a positive part, it's, a, it's more of a learning experience, but... I think my favorite part is when um, Lopez puts Ayers on the stage uh, as a practice and um, Ayers just can't handle it because he doesn't understand why he has to do it and he sees things that, that shouldn't aren't there and he's, he just goes crazy and, and leaves the stage and I think he also breaks his cello too so it's very interesting. Um, but I think the most important thing about this book is is the fact that it touches your heart. If you're a, if you're a person, if you're a reader, fellow reader who likes to have stories where it, it touches your heart in such a way that it's like this is this is such an amazing story and I can't believe it's true. This is definitely a book you should head for. Um, I got this book from the library, from the Burlington County Library. I'm sure you could probably find it in Barnes & Noble or any of your uh, local bookstores. You could probably also get the DVD of the movie online or you could possibly get it in stores too, depending on where you live. So that is my review of The Soloist by Steve Lopez. It's a wonderful book, it's a wonderful story, it has wonderful people, and it's just, it's a learning experience as I said before. So I'm R.E.S.G. Signing off for Literary Gladiators. Remember to keep reading and have a happy belated leap day.